Hi guys, I'm Dave. This is beer virtually. This is our second beer tonight. Also, the second beer from Boulevard Brewing. This is Boulevard Brewing's Heavy Lifting. Very cool can. This is a West Coast style IPA. Mmm, very hoppy. It's pouring quite light. Very, very light head. Tried to pour it bad to see if I could make some head, and I did. This is about the same color as the calling, although I do not expect. Actually, has a little bit of head. I do not expect the same flavor. Let's let that settle a second, and we'll talk about this beer. What do we have here? We have. 6.2% ABV, so a little bit lighter than the calling. I mean, it tastes nothing like the calling. It's much lighter, much more bitter. This is an ABV of 80. The uh, appropriate glass is a pint glass for this beer. This is hoppy. I mean, if you if you like hoppy beers, this is definitely hoppy. It's not quite up there with like Hops Executioner from Terrapin, but it's but it's close. Uh, 10.99 a six pack, but you know what though? For as hoppy as this beer is, it's quite refreshing. It's maybe more refreshing than the calling because it's a little bit lighter. It's a little easier to drink because it's only 6.2 percent. Also, you know, and for as hot, it's. There's a lot of hop flavor, and there's definitely some bitterness to it at 80, which I think is the highest IBUs that we've um, tested here on the channel. It definitely, um, it, it doesn't like pucker your cheeks or anything though. It's actually pretty good. I really like this can. I, uh, um, I like elephants. This has an elephant on it for the heavy lifting. It's a balloon picking up an elephant. And the, the green color is very cool also. Kind of a, maybe a takeoff on, on, on hops in general which are green in color. Yeah, pretty cool. So, that being said, this, this is kind of a simple beer. I mean, it, it's very... It's kind of got. It's kind of like a one-trick pony. It's just kind of bold and hoppy. It doesn't. It, the, the finish is the same as it starts. is really. It's really kind of monotone when the flavors. A lot of the other beers will start one way, maybe finish a little sweet or finish a little bitter, but this is kind of the same throughout. Which kind of you know, which is which isn't a bad thing. It's just it's just what it is. Quite drinkable, for sure. Definitely for I, I don't I don't know. I mean, if people like hoppy beers, if you like IPAs, people are gonna like this. Um, uh, a, a work work buddy of mine named Lanny. He's uh he, he's he works for a vendor of ours, and um he likes uh swamp head uh either big nose or swamp ape. I think swamp ape. And he may enjoy this. I'll have to definitely recommend this to him. Here's a shout out to you, Lanny. <laughs> Nothing real special on the uh, 
on the bottle. It does say brewed and packaged under the supervision of Boulevard Brewing Company, Kansas City, Missouri, by Firestone Walker Brewing Company in Paso Robles, California. And this also says ball on the cans. This is also a ball can. That's interesting that um, they're using... So you have these... Uh, there's a term called gypsy brewers and what gypsy brewers are is a it's it's a company that has or, or a couple guys excuse me that have a good recipe for a beer and what they will do is they'll go around to other breweries and whoever has capacity meaning whoever has open spots in their brewing schedule that they're not brewing something of their own they will buy that time and brew their beer. And Boulevard may be doing that in order to get out. As may, They may be selling more beer than the capacity of their brewery. And so in order to get that, that beer out, they have to have another brewery brew it. Which is, it's kind of cool that they, I mean, I wonder if that's legal that they have to, call, you know, get, um, give them credit for brewing it or, or how that works. Very light lacing. I talked about this in the last video, where you have kind of the tiers of the high water marks, and you can kind of see it there. You can kind of see each big sip I took, and and the layer that it that it left. That being said, it's kind of interesting. I've noticed more lacing in the hoppier beers than in the brown ales or stouts or any of that kind of stuff. The smell is really, really floral and hoppy, but really clean and light at the same time. For an 80 IBU, that went down really easy. Until next time, cheers.